And we are live. Alright guys, I've been trying to put this together for a little bit of time, messing with different audio settings. As you can see, I ended up picking up a condenser mic to get even cleaner audio. Um, the reason being, I like to do Q&A type stuff, but what I don't like doing is just looking at you guys and talking in front of a screen. I think it kind of gets boring. So, I figured a good way to do this... Uh, would be to, sorry, gotta get that guy. Um, would be to come on here, play some Modern Warfare, ah, while I answer some of your guys' questions. Um, from videos, comments that we get, DMs we get, emails, etc. Um, that being said, the first one I want to talk about, we put out that, uh, Mod Light handheld video, and using the Unity Tactical Clutch, um, and we got a lot of questions, which I kind of thought was, like, already known, but it wasn't, so I guess I kind of want to address it, but the whole using a handheld light, um, and not using the weapon light, and why? Um, I kind of thought that was, again, like I said, I thought that was something that was, like, known, but, in training, but it, it, we got a lot of questions about it, people were, like, questioning why are you using the, uh, handheld light when you have a weapon light X300 attached to your gun, so, uh, anyways, uh, the reason being, obviously you're going to, well, it's not obvious, so, let me talk about it, um, sorry, this is, not as easy to talk about a different subject while I'm playing this game. Um, the handheld light is used to scan, assess, gain information, whereas the X300 is a light that you would use defensively um, or to engage. I need the shower that's under me. Where are you at? Um, so, yeah. Oh, shit. Imagine uh, being a police officer on a car stop and approaching a window and using your X300 on your Glock or whatever gun you're carrying as a way to ask somebody for their driver's license and registration or even worse imagine you being the person being stopped on a traffic stop and having a gun pointed at you so that the officer can see and illuminate the inside of your vehicle at night um, obviously you wouldn't like it and it's not safe so that is where using a handheld comes into play so in the video the drill that we were doing the whole purpose behind it is for um, the shooter to come up on, on, on the range, on the line, and then use the handheld to assess. Um, and then from there, once they identify the threat target, they would engage with their, they would then deploy their firearm and engage or assess whatever as necessary. Um, we were out doing, running, uh, Mar my buddy Martin was in town with some other buddies, my old partner Chris Yang from uh, Las Vegas Metro was out with us as well. And we got uh, a night to go out and train. And, ah, dang it. While we were training, Martin actually showed me a cool technique that I liked, which was that he uses the handheld to assess, scan, assess, do his thing. And once he identified a threat target, deploys his handgun. Um, using the Theorem Switchback, he switches back to a two-handed grip and utilizes the X300 with the two-handed grip because it was much better for him. Um, I really like that method. I thought that was really cool. So uh, something I'll definitely implement and use in my training. Um, I thought it was very valuable. Definitely some takeaways. It's great having range uh, sessions with you know guys that you, you talk to and do training with because you learn stuff. Every single range session, I've learned something new, which is great. Always want to be a continuing student. Um, never want to give that up. And, yeah, so I picked up something during that range session. So I don't want to keep beating this dead horse, but I hope that kind of explains everything, why you would want to use your handheld um, in addition to, not in place of, but in addition to your weapon light on your firearm. Because um, you can't just walk around pointing guns at people to use the flashlight on your gun. Um, probably not going to fly in most scenarios. Okay, um, other things, other questions you can get. Um, the night vision stuff that we have that we're doing. Um, we have a lot of night vision stuff that's going to be coming out. We're waiting on specific units from our sponsor for that, which is AGM Global Vision. Uh, we are already having a blast shooting the content that we have been shooting. Whoa, man. Um, and people have been asking, I've been getting a lot of this, like, oh, how are you capturing, or like, what, what white light are you using, or what's the point of shooting night vision content when you have... Um, your white lights on the lights you guys are seeing aren't white lights. It's actually the um, IR lasers and IR illuminators I bought a Nikon Z50, which is the new crop sensor version of their mirrorless uh, camera and what I did was Had the IR blocker removed from the camera 
so that way it'll pick up um, IR luminaires, IR lasers, but in addition to that, it um, it also works really well in low light because it needs very little ambient light to work. So that is how we've been getting that content. Ooh, there's two of them. Um, that's how we've been getting that content, and the footage that you guys have been seeing um, is almost pitch black out there. I have been bringing some studio lights with gel filters over it just to kind of give it um, a cool look. Dang, I didn't get anybody with that. Um, I've been bringing my studio lights out there with some gels over them to kind of give um, a cool effect. Sorry, bro. When do I get my spankings, daddy? Get over here and do this. Um, the other stuff we've been using to record has been the Psionics Aurora camera, which I think is an awesome tool as well. Um, it definitely... Can I get in there? Nice. Um, it's definitely been a game changer. As it, ah, come on. When it comes to recording um, footage, uh, it's very affordable. Like You can get them as low as $299, and unfortunately it only records in 720p, which isn't the best, um, but... I do like the device because I was talking about this in one of my uh, one of the vlogs I just had a minute ago, um, one of the last ones. How you can use it. You can use it as a PBS 14. It's digital, so there is a little bit of lag. But if you're just trying to like get into the night vision game and just try something out, um, and you don't want to go and drop, you know a few thousand dollars it's definitely something that i would definitely look into at the price point you can try it out it mounts up the same way pbs 14 would um and then the thing is say it does get your interest and you see that you want to go further with it and um, do more with the night vision it, it's not a waste because you can use it to record footage um echo arms makes a mount that is velcro and goes on a helmet and that's what i was using um to do that kind of first person look when you guys saw me run that drill where it was on top of my helmet, kind of giving me a first-person view. Um, we did that. I'm hearing somebody. Where's he at? Dang it. So, yeah. it's To me, it's worth the investment. My bad. Um, well, why does he keep shooting like that? For for three, four hundred bucks to, to get a taste of what night vision can be, it's pretty cool in my opinion. Um, it is full color, though, so it's kind of deceiving, like... And if you have no ambient light whatsoever, it does get kind of grainy. So for you guys that live out in the woods where you don't get a lot of like moonlight or a little like, like for me, I have the Las Vegas Strip is like 20 miles from where I shoot. So all of the ambient light coming off the strip, that light pollution actually does help us out on the range. Uh, that's how you see that cool like greenish looking and red looking uh, effect in our footage when we shoot it. That's where it's coming from. Man, I'm trying to go off of that stupid thing. Yeah, you're fucking shit, kid. Golly. That's probably play of the game. Alright, what else do we have going on? Um, hey yo. Night vision stuff. Um, oh, I kind of guess that ends it for us. But guys, uh, I want to do more of these videos, and that way it kind of gives you something to watch in addition to uh, me answering all the questions. I don't want to sit here, like I said before, talk to the camera and answer those Q and A's. So, if you guys like this kind of stuff, let me know. If you have questions that you want me to talk about or topics you want me to talk about in other videos like this, uh, definitely let me know. Because a lot of the training topics that I end up having discussions with friends about, I definitely will bring to this platform. But Anyway, if you liked it, thanks, appreciate you checking out, and I'll see you in the next one.